Hello folks, welcome to another walk around video by Envirosight. My name is Steve Sebastian. I'm one of the sales representatives at Envirosight. What we're going to talk to you today about is our newest addition to our family, which is the Rover X SAT2 lateral launch system. For those of you that are not familiar with the lateral launch system, this is a crawler that crawls down the main line and then uses the satellite camera to inspect the lateral house connection business as such. Cities, contractors alike use this system. And now with cross boring taking place, this is a much sought after system. So let's get started. The industry told us what they would like is more mainline distance and also more lateral distance. So what did we do? We can go up to 984 feet in the main line, 147 feet in the lateral. We added three motors to the cable reel they all have a specific assignment, okay? So now we have a feeder motor specifically assigned to do nothing but feed cable here and the mainline cable. We have a motor that is assigned to push, okay? So we're not gonna require the crawler to pull and push up the line. Now we're gonna feed it cable automatically with one of those motors. And then we have an auto wind motor that is specifically designed to make sure that this cable never overwraps itself. If you put resistance into the equation, you're not gonna have the performance. If the machine's working too hard, it's not gonna be reliable. We didn't just add cable, folks. What we did is we added innovation with that main component in mind, reduce that resistance. That's why the three motors. Wow, did we make a lot of changes to the crawler system. The industry asked us, you know what? We have a lot of tight access points really tough to get a lateral lunge crawlers into those tough access points. So what did we do? Powered up the front wheels. We hinged the body. So now we can fold the crawler in half, drive the front end and lower the rear half as we go in to the access point. As with all of our crawlers, it's fully steerable. So we can articulate and move and give you that access that the industry was looking for. What else did we do? Well, we added a new lowering device, added a magnet, we drop a hook, we catch onto the magnet, bend the loop up, grab it with the hook, easy. You can do it with the rope, you can do it with the crane system. What else? The industry was dying for a crawler system that had the ability to do large pipe. The new SAT 2.0 could go from six inch to 80 inch in lateral. How would that be possible? Addition of larger wheels. And I will get into this in a bit. I'll show you some of those wheels and I'll show you those extension tubes that we're gonna to use to reach up to those distances, okay? Also, we had to add a little bit more rigidity and strength to that front chute to be able to hold that camera and that tube at those distances. Well, when we did that, what we found was it would be difficult to be able to see what we were doing if we were six feet out in front of the crawler. What did we do? If you notice here, you can see on the front of the crawler, we have the light and camera. Well, that's not untypical. But what we did was the camera can digitally zoom and pan and tilt. So now when we go to aim that shoot and we're gonna shoot that lateral, we can actually zoom in on what we're doing and pan the camera around to give you easy access into that lateral in those large diameters. Inside, we made some major changes. So much so that what you're looking at is patent pending. What did we do? Well, the industry said, look, one of the main components that we find that has excessive wear to it is our cable. We, like others, have messed with the actual construction of the cable, and we have a very abrasive resistant cable. It's thermoplastic, reinforced by fiberglass. Great, but what was causing the most abrasion is not actually in the lateral, designed by the machine itself, it was where the abrasion is occurring on most all lateral line systems are using either a wheel that is diamond embedded, gearing, something to squeeze the cable and push it. 
You heard me talk about on the reel that we had the three motors. I did tell you that one of those motors is assigned. So this is not pulling from the reel and pushing up the lateral. All it's doing is pushing up the lateral. The reel is feeding it from behind. So what does that allow us to do? Now we can change the composition and how we squeeze this cable. If you come in here real close, you'll get a real good look at what we did here. This again is patent pending. We're now using a band system, okay, to squeeze this cable together and push it up the lateral. We tested it with every kind of unmentionable you can think of continuously to look for where slip. This machine ran 24 hours straight for days on end, never slipped virtually nowhere. Yes, obviously we're gonna get somewhere as we go up the lateral. The industry said, we need something different. So we gave it to you. How's it work? Pretty simple. So if I wanted to take this cable out, I just take these two devices here, pull them back such like that. It opens it up and the cable easily extracts. But I'm gonna push it down in there such like that. Close those down, close the lid. You're going to see some of the same design features that you saw in our Rover X from the videos prior. If you haven't watched those videos, suggest you tune in to YouTube or LinkedIn, type it in Virusite, give them a watch. Those are the quick disconnect wheels. They're also here on the SAT 2.0. The same toolless connection is in the rear. We talked up here about the digital zoom and pan and tilt camera. What I didn't talk to you about is we also have a rear view camera, which is positioned back here. So on retrieval, you're able to see exactly what you were doing. Also, we wanted you to know, and I neglected to tell you this, we not only can do 80 inch, but we can run up to 98 feet per minute in the main now to get you up and through that 80 inch. We'll do 23 feet per minute in the lateral. These are industry changing numbers that I'm speaking to you about. So let's go to the front. So to do that 80 inch, how are we gonna achieve that? We're gonna to have to tilt this chute and to reach some of those diameters, we're gonna add the bigger wheels, which I'll show you later, raise the crawler up, then we're gonna add this tube to the front. How are we gonna do that? It's pretty simple. Just gonna reach up here, tip this, this comes off. We re-engage this onto here, it's on the tube, then slides into here, and this is simple PVC, folks. You can get this most anywhere, okay? At any length you want. Look, nothing special about it, okay? It's gonna slide into here, tighten this collar down. What you can't see is there's a brush in there, so it's gonna keep this cable nice and clean. This is the DCX5000 or the desktop controller. I'm not gonna get into great depth and detail of what you're seeing here, but you can tell there's a pretty extensive dashboard in your view. Like every one of our other controllers though, once you learn it, you'll learn it. Remember, I told you it has to be easy to use. So camera functions on the left, crawler functions on the right. Some of the nice features of this DCX5000 though, so we may have multiple operators coming in here. We have, we just showed you the SAT 2.0, you may have a mainline system. So we have the ability here to program per operator. We can set up preset buttons that you see right here. So when he's running it, those presets buttons do what he wants. Somebody else comes in, they switch over to their name and they can do whatever it is that they want. We've reached the conclusion of our SAT 2.0 walk around. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. And please visit Envirosite.com or call us at 973-252-6700.